All right, so I am fresh out of the shower and I thought I would share with you the makeup that I'm using today as well as most of my Holy Grail drugstore products. Um, I'll just share with you along the way as I'm going and I'm gonna get started. Well, let's move this out of the way. That's good. So first thing I'm gonna start with is the Benefit Professional. I'm not normally a primer user or lover. Most of the time I kind of think like, what is it really doing? But I have this, so I thought I'd use it. And I love it. It fills in and it makes, it fills in this like line I have around my mouth, this little like smile line that I hate. And it makes my foundation just glide over it. Amazing. And it doesn't cause it to settle in throughout the day, which is obviously a plus. And all right. First holy grail right here is this Rimmel Lasting Finish Foundation. I only bought this once because it said Comfort Serum on it and it I, it just sounded like, ooh, a serum in my foundation? That sounds amazing. It's unlike anything I've ever tried. It's really moussey almost, like a creamy mousse. It's odd, but not like the Dream Matte Mousse, not that moussey. It's just it's a creamy mousse. I don't know. It's extremely full coverage, which I don't normally like because full coverage to me has always seemed like cakey or too heavy or I feel like I can't breathe in my face. And this just completely changed, changed my mind about stuff like that. And I like to pat it in with a dry... Uh, Real Techniques sponge. I very, very rarely, <laughs> very rarely use a damp sponge to do my foundation with because I just find that the, the tiny bit of water that gets put back on your face, it makes my face feel so dry. I don't know. And I find that it really just thins out the foundation a lot, so... I only have one foundation that I use a damp sponge with. How was that? It's pretty blended. All right. And the freaking lighting is going to wash out most of what I'm putting on. I'm sorry. Hopefully it doesn't happen. But I have a feeling it's going to. And that's it. It's so good. Wipe my lips off. Ugh. I like to go over them again. It's like a skin. Just around the edges because I find like when I wipe it, it like moves the foundation a little bit. So put on some Carmex real fast. All right. Hold on. Next is concealer. I don't have a drugstore holy girl concealer, so I'm just going to use two of my current favorites, which are, where are you? The Tarte CC Corrector. This I had for like two weeks before I even tried it because I love the erase paste so much, and I thought that this was going to be exactly the same. Um, so I was like, eh. I'm never, I'm going to return it. Actually, I thought I was going to take it back. And then I finally used it and I think I like it more than the Erase Paste. It's a lot thicker. It's not as emollient and it's a little sticky, I think. But it, it's so good. It covers up and it doesn't um, crease or settle into your fine lines, which I, of course, appreciate. Next thing, I don't use too much concealer because I find that that foundation does quite a good job covering what I want it to. But I do like this uh, Too Faced Born This Way concealer a lot. I just like to go around my eyes a little bit because I have a lot of um, discoloration right there. I just want to cover it up. And that's it. Take the Beauty Blender sponge, also dry, and then just kind of bounce it in there. All right. Hold on. All right.
right, next we're gonna do some bronzer. And I also don't have a drugstore product for bronzer. Um, right now I'm freaking loving the Marc Jacobs um, Omega Bronze. It's so good. And I take it and I pat this Eco Tools brush, like just in it like this, and I pat it like that. I, I don't know, I find that I just, and I kind of just dab it like that. Pat it in and then this foundation isn't one that I think oily skin would like. It's very, um, it, it, it doesn't settle all the way in your skin. Like it doesn't dry down all the way. So if, you know, at the end of the day, you can still feel it on your face. And I don't mind that, you know, but if it's summertime and I feel a little oily later on, I'm like, ugh, gross. Anyway, put this up here. Kind of like pat it around like that. And then, I, I really don't know how to put bronzer on. I just kind of try to make myself look not as completely pale because that foundation like covers the crap out of everything. So, I just kind of, I don't know, do something like that. Did that make any difference? To me it did. And then I'm going to do what I call contouring my nose. Another Eco Tools brush that I love. That's not it. Oh, that one I just used right here is freaking awesome. Oh my god, I can't grab the right one. It's called Custom Coverage Buffing, and it's like a flat top brush like this. It's extremely soft. I mean, you guys know how soft Eco Tools is. This is no different. It's awesome. Um, anyway, I'm taking the airbrush concealer brush from Eco Tools and I dab it in the bronzer and I kind of just do the same little dabbing thing that I did and then I, I just kind of do this little thing here let's see if I could do one here you can see what I'm doing better any difference yeah and then I like to take my foundation and kind of like in case I got any on the middle, so it, you know, it's a little differentiation. Close that up. Next, eyebrows. This is the number one holy grail for me right here. It's from Revlon and it's called Brow Fantasy. I have used, I would say at least 50 of these throughout the years. I've used it for years and years and years. I absolutely love it. So I just take a spoolie from another brush, another eyebrow product, and kind of just move around my tiny little eyebrows. And this became my favorite because it's just brown. It's just brown. It doesn't have any red in it. It doesn't have any ashiness or taupiness, nothing like that. And I was having the hardest time finding an eyebrow pencil that wasn't freaking red. Why? Why do they put red in everything? I think it's so strange. Anyway, I've been using it forever and it's awesome. It's a pencil on one side and a little gel on the other side. Normally, I love this gel and I find that nothing compares to it. It's excellent. But this one, I think maybe have maybe was an old pencil because the gel's a little um, thick, a little gloopy. And then I kind of just brush them. Just kind of brush the pencil in there a little bit like that. And then I take another excellent drugstore product. It's NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. And I started using this because this one was a little gloopy. Augustus gloopy. And then I do find that this just gets everywhere though. So I do one and you see this mess I made here. I get a little sponge tip applicator and I just wipe it. These are awesome. Definitely underrated beauty product. I know a lot of people throw them away. I used to throw them away. And I had bought some Makeup Forever eyeshadows and I was having a hard time using them. And I started using them with a sponge tip and it, it transformed them. It was crazy. Plus, I don't waste as many Q-tips. I was using probably six Q-tips a day and I felt so wasteful. Now I use these things. You could reuse them all the time. 
you know, they're, as long as they're just on you, it doesn't matter if you're using your same sponge tip applicator. All right. Same thing. I find if I do them both at the same time and then try to clean them both up, that uh, it dries a little fast. So I'm just going to go in here, clean that up. Ooh, I made that one really red. I was pressing really hard. How's that? I browed up. I usually, once the gel dries and stuff, I go back in and fill in little spots that I found were a little still sparse, so I'll check them out again later when they dry. And then I kind of just go in with any sort of um, color that, I don't know, kind of matches my skin shade. And I'm not a big fan of brow bone highlights. I definitely just like to put something there um, to kind of cover up the mistakes I made. And the one I'm using right now is from the Too Faced Totally Cute palette. It's just this one right here, double scoop or um, yeah, double scoop. And I'm using it with another Eco Tools brush. This is one of the double sided awesome ones. All right, next let's do a little, let's do some blush. This is a holy grail as well overlooked product i swear it's amazing it's from revlon it's one of their powder blushes and it is called naughty nude and it's so awesome um let's see take it on this we'll use this brush right here this is one of those blushes that if you're gonna go crazy with the eye look which is what i normally do which is you know i just like to put all the eyeshadow on this is a very nice neutral looking blush that's not going to make you look too too out there you know there we go i swear it's washing everything out but it's there all right a little highlight i think we're going to use some this isn't necessarily a holy grail but it is really good it's the wet and wild um mega glow powder precious petals Let's go with the little uh, ELF small tapered brush. I think my holy grail um, highlighter is the new one from Becca Rose Quartz. I'm in love with it. It was one of those highlights where I wanted to buy a second one because I knew it was limited edition and I thought they'd run out as if I'm never going to use it up my whole life, you know. Anyway, we're almost done. Two more products. We're going to do some eyeshadow. This is one of the L'Oreal single ones. I don't know the name. I'm sorry. I ripped the whole label off. These eyeshadows were very hit and miss. You know, and I found that most of them apply way better with your finger. And that's actually how I prefer to put on my eyeshadows is with my finger because one, you don't get any fallout. Two, I find I can control the product a lot better if I'm using my finger. And that's what I've always done. I do use brushes though, you know, for some products. Eyeliner, we're gonna go with the best eyeliner formula. It's from L'Oreal, it's a Silk Seam Eyeliners. These are so good. I'm going to put it here in my waterline. It doesn't transfer. It doesn't smudge. It doesn't run. I mean, no matter what eyeliner I'm wearing, ooh, it does kind of pool here in the corner. Like, um, you see that? A little bit. Like, uh, within an hour, I kind of wipe it, and then it's good the rest of the day. All right. Last thing we're doing is mascara. This isn't my holy grail, but it is one I'm using right now that I just bought. I can feel like an eyelash or a brush hair or something right there. It's the L'Oreal Voluminous Feline. My absolute favorite mascara ever. It's from Almay and it's the One Coat Thickening. Ooh, look at that. Of course, I'm getting mascara all over my eyelid as well. 
Anyway, that Almay Mascara is excellent. It's a really dry formula and a natural bristle brush. It builds up so well. And of course, it's always on sale too. I like it. Really good stuff. Hmm. Looks pretty good. I mean, just I, I feel that hair on my face right here somewhere. Let me grab. Um, you know what? Oh, it's gonna see. Uh, well, like that worked. All right, that's it. My face. You can't really see. Let me see if I move you over here. Hmm. A little bit better. I don't know. Anyway, that was my full face using a lot of my Holy Grail drugstore products. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you um, probably later today with another one. My uh, VIB recommendations. So um, yeah.